Now, my question to you is this. Some people believe that Atiku Abubakar's call for unity between PDP, the Labour Party, and the NMPP is a bit too late. This collaboration should, probably would have been more fruitful pre-election and not now that the case is already at the Supreme Court. What's your take on that? And unfortunately, Atiku Abubakar, like you rightly pointed out, who belonged to that generation, is rather coming too late. He had the opportunity in 2015 to stick to his party, joining others to bring up a new Nigeria. But he decided to destroy his own party in the name of zoning, that they ought to have zoned the party to the north. And so he joined other people to ensure that the party was zoned to the north, even if it means siding APC. And that was how Ati could join others to enthrone Buhari that has performed worse than any other leader in Nigerian history. So the history of 2023 started from 2015. In 2023, Atiku had his constitution, PDP constitution, section 73C, which says the party shall pursue the aim and objective of adhering to the policy of rotation and zoning of party and political elective offices in pursuance of the principle of equity, justice, and fairness. A man who could not allow power to shift, who wanted to succeed his fellow Fulani Northern Muslim in the interest of injustice, cannot come to tell us to follow him in the interest of justice. So the issue is that and when you want to go to equity, you go to equity with clean hands. Yes, he should tell Nigerians the truth. He is fighting to know whether he can become president. Not that he is fighting for justice. Because it was his injustice in not allowing power to shift to the south that even brought the certificate forger to come and become the leader. So the issue here is very clear. Atiku Abubakar should know that after contesting presidency for six times, time has come for him to repent from being a member of a crooked, wasted generation and join the new generation in the quest for a new Nigeria, which is exemplified by Peter Gregory Obi. If Atiku had joined this force earlier now, there is no issue of APC being the president of Nigeria. So I acknowledge that he is fighting for his political life. He wants to be president. That is why he is fighting. Not that he is fighting for justice. Because it is his injustice against the people of the South, against the constitution of his party, that brought about the possibility of a Tinubu in the first place. So please, he is fighting for his political life. And I will advise him to join the people that are fighting for equity, justice and fairness which he failed to fight in PDP in 2023 so that we can have a new Nigeria. Let him just step down and join us so that we will win our case in Supreme Court, God willing. And the president, President Peter Obi, will be enthroned in Nigeria. A man of competence, character, and capacity. Oh, oh, right. oh, right, Mr. Okonkwo, so in, 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 essence, in, in essence, as a, a group, group, as a group, a label is yes. not joining uh, former Vice President uh, uh, Atiku Abubakar in his quest you know, for justice regarding the certificate saga. So that's what you're confirming right now. What I'm confirming to you is that as a group, we are asking Atiku Abubakar to join us so that we can bring out a new Nigeria. Well, Mr. I mean, this is a very interesting, very interesting issue. Mr. Kenneth Okunko, well, you have expressed your views, but we have to make it clear that they are your views and not the views of Arise TV. Well, thank you very much for joining us on this interview. We do appreciate your insight.